Hey everybody, it's Wednesday night and it's time for Super Geek Dub. Woo. Woohoo! All right. Oh, good. I don't yeah. want to get it. What the heck, Francis? That was like the weakest one yet. Hey, everybody. I'm Jeff. Uh, <laughs> welcome to Super Geeked Up. This is your live geeky pop culture show. We talk geeky topics, play fun geek themed improv games. Thank you if you're watching live or in post. We appreciate it very much. I'm joined as always by my co host, Francis Fernandez. So. Yes. Deadpool has the best butt, I think. He has all right. Well, butt. hang on. I'm going to get to that. Yeah, let me just, just let you know now. Get to the poll. Right well, all right. I'm glad we have starting your immediately. I'm glad yes. we have your vote. Yes. Uh, we are joined by uh, one of our frequent guests, actually, because we love having her on. It's from Laguna Studios, Lori Foster. Welcome back. Hey, thank you. <laughs> all right. Uh, Lori's got two actually really cool Kickstarter projects to talk about later uh mm -hmm. some cool clothing and pins and a new comic um speaking of butts yes that actually so <laughs> we are going to talk about butts later in the show which was inspired by one of Lori's things um not Lori's butt but uh inspired by <laughs> something she's doing <laughs> yeah. it might be you oh well, true no, yeah true. anyway <laughs> you never so know when you never i put know. up the stream earlier today though it said hey do a poll i was like i didn't know i could do polls cool so the poll on the oh. chat right now you can participate is who has the sexiest butt it's uh oh wow it's actually really tight right now rogue and psylocke are tied at 33 percent deadpool's 25 oh too bad cap even though he's america's ass is only at eight percent um so there you go it's really now, tight right now was that uh, intentional it was not but good call <laughs> okay <Good catch>. wow <laughs> sorry <laughs> i wish it was i wish it was that would <laughs> that's a tight ass uh so later on, we're actually going to ask this question for real folks. You can you, you don't have to choose those four. I can only put four answers on the poll. Uh, you can tell us later on, but you can keep voting out of those four if you like. I know you actually said Psylocke, I think, in the chat early on there, Lori, before you went live. Um, and, yeah, now uh, there's an expectation of, of a poll every week now. So there'll be an expectation. Oh, there will, uh, there will be. I love doing okay. polls, actually. I'm 100% going to do one every week. That's what I do in my yeah. newsletters. I can't uh, wait for the next one. It'll just say north or south. <laughs> no, we have to have like east and west too. Right? No, poll. I mean, you can't. Oh, I should have known. Sorry, <laughs> that's a Francis joke for sure. Well, uh, good evening, Scorpio. And yeah, oh, okay, yes, he's. Well, I understand. I'm going to deliver. Don't worry. I love doing polls. I have a lot of experience for my uh, erotica newsletters. Stand there. What is this? Yeah. Uh, I don't know what that is. Ghost laughing. Oh no! It looks a like toilet? blue. No, it looks like um from. Foster's home for imaginary for what's it called? Whatever. Oh, blue. is it? It's like blue. I don't know. It looks like him. By the way, Cap just went up to fifteen, so somebody just voted for him now. When I oh him, I good, there you go, go Cap. I like how I get live <laughs> live results here. Um, he's bring, yes, Carrie. He's bring up the rear. <laughs> I hope I can't. I like all these puns. <laughs> these puns all night, guys. Puns all night. Unless Marks comes in, then we gotta yeah. calm down. Damn right, I like big butts, and I cannot lie. You got it, Michael Gilstrap, uh, Sir Mix a lot. Sure. Oh, Carrie voted cap, so there you go. Good. Oh, there you Carrie. go. He knows America's ass when he sees it. Uh, anyway, thank you, everybody. Uh, Pierre, who was here first, and Michael and Tammy and Lister's main and Chaz and Scorpio are all here in the chat. We appreciate it. Uh, thank you for watching and post. Uh, Appreciate that as well. All right, anyway, let's get to our first question, which is not about butts. We'll get to that later. Mm. Um, and we got some geeky games for you. Super amazing acronyms and superhero. Boy, I don't know what the fuck was the other game. <laughs> super. Uh, uh, resistance super camera framing face. Super and camera uh, face, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, but what's our first geeky Resist question? Am am acronyms. Uh, yeah. Uh, yes. So Godzilla and Kong. They're, co they're coming out with a movie this Friday called The New Empire. People seem to like it. They think it's really, even though he runs like a person, which I hate. Anyway, uh, Godzilla does. What? Like person. Yeah. Wait, but, really? Yeah. No way. He, he doesn't like, stomp he, around? He doesn't stomp. He like has a sprint in the, in the, in the trailers. He has like Godzilla a sprint. never sprints. That's ridiculous. I'm just saying he has a sprint. After oh, like minus one being the greatest thing of all time, like yes. I'm, yes. yeah, it, it that doesn't sound good. No, but they're running around. They're being pals. They're, they're the best the best of buds. But we want to know from you guys, what two monsters would you want to see team up cheek to cheek? That part was not in the question. It was just team up. <laughs> no. not cheek, 
<laughs> now I'm thinking like butt cheeks, the butt cheeks. That's what I was. That's yeah. the that was my goal. Was okay. Talk about that's a totally know. different question. I feel though. Whole other, well, maybe. What monsters I'm are rubbing sure. butts together? Um, I'm sure they can cause a fire. Uh, so yeah. Well, listeners, may I thought about Shield after I put the poll up. Um, I only get four. You only get four. So you sorry. She you she would she would probably four. be number five. Yeah. Uh, oh, if I've, Tammy voted for America's ass. Very good. Okay. okay. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> all right. Which monsters are we putting together? Uh, Lori, what do you got? Um, Mothra and Mothman mm. together. <laughs> Good. I didn't theme. think about themes. Oh, that's good. I'm gonna change. I'm gonna get an. I want an answer now that has the theme. Okay. Mothman, Mothman. <laughs> I like that. That's really good. Um, like I'd watch that. Yeah. But Maybe Mothman, yeah, so we can human like size, watch. right? Mothman, Mothman, Mothman is isn't. I huge, thought Mothman right? was big. Was he? Oh, that's a know. good question. I just. I think I just made him gigantic in my head, but I don't actually know. Someone tell us in the chat. I can't get How rid of Mothman. I, yeah, I'm like I can't get rid of my Bellatro tab. So hold on, let me look up how tall this Mothman. <laughs> you can get rid of it. You just look I can't it up later because I need to get you're, it. No, I need gonna to remember, remember Bellatro. I'll tell I'm not going to forget. I'll Bellatro. He I'm needs to, to play it so he can report back to me about exactly. how addicted he is. Yeah, <laughs> this, this is the most important thing to Lori. When I when I start <laughs> wearing swag from Bellatro next time Lori's on, and I'm just like, look what you've done to me. Uh, <laughs> just... At least I have a finger to point. <laughs> Mothman is only about eight feet tall. Chaz tells us. Oh. Okay, so Mothman view, could That's ride, but he could ride Mothra. Yeah. The current question is: What two monsters would you want to have team up, like Godzilla and Kong, are teaming up in the movie this Friday? Uh, by the way, Fred, how do you know what people are liking? You mean like early reviews mm -hmm. on it? Yeah, I've seen some people on on Twitter talking about it and saying it's a fun action movie. You know, we're not going to spoil who the big baddie is, but they're amazing and blah blah blah. And like, how, like, that's your that's your review voice. Oh, all the, all the, the review voice. It's all a fun movie action movie. Voice. Yeah, we like that. All that, all they're all wearing their you know uh, page boy caps and like talking real fast. Oh, it's a great movie. You see, hmm. so. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> uh, they're 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 loving they're loving the Kong, they're loving. All right. Pierre, you're right. Rogue and Psylocke are in a pull stalemate. It's actually gonna be a tough stalemate for me to choose between those two, to be honest with you. Later, but um, that's why those first two that came to my mind. Mm. Um, I've stirred their butts a lot. Uh, anyway, uh, King of the Monsters from the SNK game. King minute. of the Monsters, yeah, King of the Monsters. That's the uh, same thing that? to. That's not Rampage. Of... Right. No, but I think they took mm -hmm. the Rampage characters and turned it into a fighting game, I want to say. Oh, really? I think so. Oh, I think you may be right. Yeah. So, right. yeah. Cool. Very nice. I like Good. that. Uh, I don't know. What do you, uh, so tell us the chat, folks. What, what are you going to uh, team up? Love the hair, Lori, from another Thank Lori. You. Is this also Lori <laughs> Stevens, I guess? <laughs> another Lori, Lori, yes. Uh, great. Thank you. <laughs> yes, that is. That is. <laughs> Mecha Godzilla. Well, welcome, by the way, Elder Lori. Mecha yeah. Godzilla and the Loch Ness Monster. Oh, that surf and turf attack. I like it. Sir, oh, yeah. Yeah. No, that works. I like that a lot. Oh, maybe I, I should choose a lot. I actually love the Loch Ness Monster. I um, yeah, yeah, I like the idea of com combining like cryptids with kaiju. I think that's really cool. Ooh. And, and they start with a k sound. So that's I like true. that a lot. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't. Just a thing I noticed. But yeah. Oh, okay. You like the cook sound. The cook. Cryptics and kaiju. It's folks. Breaking news. Deadpool has pulled into a three-way tie with Rogue and Psylocke for hot as ass in our that's, poll. That's our next book. Cryptics what is kaiju. happening? Um, Captain America is in last place still. Um, oh no. That's okay. That's all right. We'll okay. see what happens. Uh, I like. I do like the first poll ever, though, was about butts. I think that's good. I don't. Yeah. Well, and it's yes. not even in the. Well, it's because of the the Kickstarter. I understand where you got the idea yes. from, but yeah. It's thanks. All thanks to Lori. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, the best poll. This? You're welcome. Ro Rogaru and Wendigo. Just watch the fur fly. Oh, what's, Wendigo. What's, yeah. What's a, I know Wendigo. What's Rogaru? Rogaru. You know that that's a. That's a. a I, I just see like a rug. But I don't think that's what it is. I see a like, a rug, like a, rug. a rug monster or like a 
but I don't know. Maybe it's like uh can it's sort of like a werewolf. Oh. You just look it up. Yeah. Roguru. Okay. Thank you. Oh yeah, it is a, oh. Mm. I wanna go so I wanna take the Loch Ness as one of them. Scorpio said that. Oh Loch Ness. So I, okay. Maybe I'll pair with another C one, but all I can think of right now is like the Meg or something, and that's too oh. it's so huge is ridiculous. What are some other C C I mean Cthulhu. Uh, not, uh, Cthulhu. Cthulhu. <laughs> no, what's the other one? The 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 this giant squid oh, in the ocean. The Kraken. Kraken. Yeah. Okay, Kraken. Good. Yeah, Loch Ness that's Monster and Kraken. That's a good team. Okay. Thank you. We got one like kind of like a dinosaur one with all tentacles, right, and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Necroix, why aren't you on the sexiest butt list? I have never seen your butt, so I cannot. Like that's why I didn't put you on the list. I don't know. Don't send me pictures. Uh, uh, no. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say now you're yeah. you're gonna just get a butt pics. <laughs> the lake nest, the lake nose monster from Phineas and Ferb, and the Kraken from the Pirates oh, movies. The lake nose I didn't know there was a lake nose monster from that mm. show. Did it have a big nose? Does anybody know? Has anybody seen that? I can only hope. Cartoon? One can only hope. Look at all these votes for Kraken, actually, now. Yeah. You inspired them, Francis. No, I think I was just trying to say... I couldn't think of the word, and they were, they were helping me. Yeah, oh, I, you're right. The okay. could, they were assisting me in my inability to think of the name. Kraken. The Hell to Pay and the Mask? What's the Hell to Pay? Oh, the Hell to Pay. I don't know, but I like that. Wait, That's... you just said, oh, yeah, that. I don't know. I, I, it sounds familiar. I feel like the Hell to Pay is like a cartoon superhero or supervillain, but I don't sounds know. Sounds like a villain. Yeah. That oh, sounds awesome. Rogue, Rogue is breaking the tie. Yeah. Oh, she did. Rogue is in first place all by herself now. <laughs> Her ass surges into the lead. Well, not on she's, X-Men, the animated series. She's so upset series. about the X, not having an X-Men. She's yeah. determined to win. But don't worry, Lori and her company took care of that. We'll talk about that later. Um, we are so just... just this is all just a layup for that that uh, that bit it's or all, that, that part. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's in butts. All right, Francis, what is your choice of uh, monsters you want to have team up? All right, so I went. I guess I'm going the route of monsters in in a figurative sense, I suppose. Right, mm -hmm. like a dragon like is a monster. Lecter. Yeah, or Hannibal Lecter. So I also wanted to stick to a theme. So Draco the dragon from Dragonheart and Draco Malfoy from Harry Potter. Two monsters in their own right. You could say that. Okay. Just... Yes, and they'll both have actions and they'll run around pointing their bits at people. Pointing their bits? <laughs> what? Well, <laughs> Draco should only be pointing his wand. Why is he pointing his dick at anyone? What are you talking no. about? <laughs> Uh, his wand is the bit. Hello, no, wand is, is not. the bit. Wand is not yes, a bit. It is. That's not what bits means. Hey now, yes, it does. Yeah, totally. Anyway. I don't think. I'm, the, I, mm, okay. yeah. <laughs> I don't think Draco the Dragon would put up with Malfoy's nonsense, though. He would just flame. He, he put up with the prince that he gave his heart to, and he was a pretty oh, Draco-like character. I forgot before the other before Quaid. Randy, Dennis Quaid, Randy Quaid, who the hell's in it? It was Dennis. not, it was Dennis Quaid, it was Dennis not Quaid. Randy. Randy hey, was too busy right? fighting aliens on, on Earth. He was not, he was, in Independence wasn't there. Day? Yeah, yeah. that's Randy. Anyway, Lori Scorpio says, I love that you just said cryptid. I wasn't sure how esoteric that word was. Yeah, cryptid, that's a good word. Yeah, yeah. It's, really, yeah. it's getting around. That, that word is becoming like. It is, it's coming more in fashion. Yeah. Thanks, mm -hmm. Lori. She sure yes word, i'm a trendsetter <laughs> you are swamp thing and man thing would be a dynamic duo carrie says Ooh. that's a good team up they both have things and, and the thing both have... which one the mar the marvel no 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 Fantastic oh Four? i guess i was thinking i was thinking of the, you the, thinking the john movie? carpenter yeah yeah. yeah yeah that would make more sense but i want to put the, uh, the marvel thing because it doesn't make sense with oh those. okay okay <laughs> All right. Come on, guys. It's clobbering time. <laughs> like, well, we don't really clobber things. Uh, well, they could, though, I guess. They're pretty tough. They're pretty tough. The Hell to Pay is from the Amazing Stories TV show. It could take over people and make them commit crimes. Uh, oh, to pay that makes people evil. I see. Oh, that's fun. I like, I that. like that. Yeah. Oh, Tammy, you're so smart. I don't know why I didn't think of my Greek mythology. Go with the classics of... Uh, I should know how this. Char Charbidus? Char and Charybdis. 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 Mm. 
You can carib this. Yeah. <laughs> just, just, just stop. Uh, Medusa and the Sirens. I'm in a mood. For, I'm in a mood. What do you want from me? No, it's, uh, yes. Medusa and the Sirens. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. That is great. Yeah. I just wrote about them in my uh, new erotica, folks. You can get on Riley Rose Erotica. Oh, I thought, is that your, is that your, your It's not tale? my fairy tale, no. No. I didn't think, uh, I didn't think about Medusa, no. Mine's about Hansel and Gretel. Mm. Yeah. Uh, all right. Anyway, let's see. We got everybody's choices, yes? We, got we did. answers about monsters. We, we okay. definitely did. Good. <laughs> Any, all right. So you keep putting them in the chat, though, folks. We would yeah. love to hear any other monster team-ups you want to do. You can keep voting in our butt poll. Um, our butt poll. Still very close. Yeah. Uh, Deadpool and Versailles are just, just behind Rogue. Oh, see, there's, I didn't mean the joke with that either. Behind, but all right. Um, well, hard. at this point, everything's a, a butt pun, so you're all right. Zero energy in Mangaloka. Oh, monster energy drinks. I get it. <laughs> That's really good, actually. I really like that one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Francis, you, well, you started it, Francis, so... You just I know. Like, yeah, that's I know. true. What you're putting down. I'm, mm-hmm. I gotta pick it up. Medusa and the Sirens could be a girl group, 100%. I think that's yeah. br- brilliant. Yeah, I love that. Mm-hmm. Oh, Tammy, I really want to use that now in one of my books. I want to have a, a gr- group called Medusa and the Sirens. You should. I'll have t- Tammy, I'll have you be their manager or something. I'll throw you in there, too. Um. All right. Here we go. Let's go to our first geeky game. It is super amazing acronyms. So what we're going to do, hang on, I'm make sure I don't lose my poll here. Okay, here we go. Um, oh, we need you guys to put acronyms in the chat. So make up acronyms, like not uh, not really real ones like scuba or FBI. We need that, but we they do not, it and we still use no, them. No, not real. Well, sort of. Yeah. Like, They've yeah, used like... but. Yeah. Use That's just make, make up use other them. ones. Make yeah. up other ones. All right. If you can. Um, and uh, and we'll come up with what those acronyms supposedly mean. Um, so yeah, there you go. Let's just make. See, he's got the idea already. You don't have to make quite the this hard, but uh, that's fine. Uh, <laughs> I was gonna say I can't. It's late, guys. I can't think that well. Q. Okay. Well, there's a three-letter one. We have a three-letter yeah, one. Yeah, don't there. worry. We'll so try we to got give some, you, we got some short ones. We'll try to we got some you, ones that we'll, we can. We can we'll just give with. each other. Francis and I will give each other the hard ones. Uh, so, how this works is, oh shit! As you're doing that, folks, I forgot. We need um, we need a scene. So, uh, give give us a scene somehow related to butts. Um, oh, okay. okay. <laughs> and then the three of us will do the scene, and like, let's say, pretend I start. Um, which now France will make me start because uh, I said that. I will end my whatever I say with one of those acronyms, and then let's say I toss it to Francis. He'll has to he has to say what that acronym supposedly means, and then he'll continue, and then he'll go to Lori with some acronym, and then Lori would say supposedly what that acronym means, and continue on with whatever else you want to say, uh, and we'll kind of just keep going, and then Lori gives it to me, etc. And we keep going around until we end. Um, so. You're all doing gym, doing exercise for your glutes. Oh, okay. There you go. That does involve the butt. All right. Like that. Doc, doctor's office. Okay. Well, plane seats are too small for great butts. I like that, actually. That's very, very great. <laughs> like, I'm, see, I'm thinking like great, not as big, but just they're so amazing. They're so great. Like, I, well, I think that's what she means, too. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. I, I don't think, it, yeah. Just A robust behind, maybe. <laughs> robust. That's how we should try to pick up people. You have a robust behind. <laughs> Captain America, right butt cheek is feeling less patriotic than his left. So he heads to the gym for some Tony. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> wow. All right. Yeah. I mean. A booty slapping competition. Okay. A Sir Mix-a-Lot concert. Oh, I like that. Robots. Like Roblox. Wait, it? It's robots. Roblox, but robots. Oh no, robots, nice. robots, like robots, robots. Oh, yeah. ro- okay. But, okay, like mm-hmm. just bots that are yeah. robots. All right, what? Uh, I don't know. What, what do you? Okay, thank you guys. You can start putting acronyms again now. We'll, we'll choose from one of these. Um, what do you? What do you? I don't know. What do you guys think? Which you want to be on a plane? You want to be in a Sir Mix a Lot concert? You want to be with robots? Robot butts? You can, you want Rogue getting fitted for a new uniform? What do you want? Is that in there? I didn't see yeah, that. Yeah, that's one. at the top. 
Mm. Oh, Rogue is getting. Oh, oh my God. Oh, well, that's getting a little too uh, erotic. Uh, even though we we do a show like that. <laughs> Maybe the plane. I don't. Yeah. All right. Let's yeah. Do the plane. Yeah. We can always try to work on some of the other ones too. All right. We're on up. Plane seats that are too small for great butts, which obviously we all have. Um, and then yeah. So please keep throwing in those acronyms now, folks. Thank you very much. Uh, by the way, I like this twerking pageant. That was funny too. Uh, I do like that one too. A group of pirates gather to split booty, and that's not even so. All right. Anyway, all right. So we're on a plane. The seats are too small for great butts. We have to use these acronyms as we do it. And I'll try to put them on the screen if I can find them in time. All right. Everybody ready? God, some of these are so long. All right. Uh, oh. <laughs> this is rude. Oh, a lot of them are short. They're still no, short they are a lot. No, yeah, it's, yeah, it's fine. We, yeah. we like to play. It's fine. Some short, some long, some medium. All right. Um, are you sorry? Ready? I'm trying to think. I guess I'll, I'll you want to start, Francis? Me start? Who to start? Uh, all right. I will start. I know you okay. said you were going to start, but I won't no, I, I said you were going to make me do that. But I'm, I'm, just, I'm not going to make you do anything. So I'm going to go right. ahead and say, go ahead. why look at this fine plane, folks? My God. I am so glad I designed such a beautiful plane. Look at these seats. These seats made for robust bottoms. It's like they were made to, 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 to hold and 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 kind of like a hug, a good behind. Don't you think, there, Jeff? That that without this, we wouldn't have what I like to call backside. Okay, I just found it. Um, <laughs> you're right. Oh wow. Absolutely, Francis. Uh, first off, I'm so impressed by your uh, play. You're a plane designer. Uh, I just <laughs> discovered that. That's the official name for that job, right? Anyway, yes, I am. I design. I am plane. Des I'm just a plain regular designer. Right, not fancy. Yes. Anyway, these are. To start with a long one. These are backside. Beautiful. Asses caressing kangaroos sipping indigo Why is it like dairy <laughs> eggplant see because that's a new that's a new drink we're serving right uh, I'm, I'm in charge of the the beverages on the plane and indigo eggplant is a new flavored drink we're serving and it has a, a kangaroo on it because we're flying to uh, Sydney, if you didn't know. It's going to be a really long flight. I mean, um, is it? I mean, we are in New Zealand at the moment, so not that long of a flight. <laughs> oh, right. Oh, you know, always flying all over the place. I always forget you know where us. we are. Oh, always you know forget. us. Anyway. Yes. Oh, well, thank goodness Lori's here. Uh, and uh, maybe we'll find out what she does here. Uh, but <laughs> Lori... What do you think about the this this plane and these drinks? Isn't it just blift? I <laughs> sorry. Uh, <laughs> I I'm <laughs> yes. Tell us, please. Yes. <laughs> yeah, oh well, yes, God. you are actually very much so. But we need to I... know. Yeah, blift. Hmm. It it is blift. It's it's the Man, I'm having the worst brain freeze right now. I hate this. <laughs> <laughs> well, but listen. This... That's the beginning, right? You were going to say, but listen. Oh, but listen. Right, right. But listen. Yeah. But listen. <laughs> I fucking told you. Oh, yes. I'm sorry. Yes. yes. What did you uh, you're, Yes only has accommodations for the finest backsides you know you're not you're not wrong you're definitely not wrong so what do you think we should do about this how, how do we ensure that the best but backsides get into these seats i mean i, I pick, feel like pick one of the acronyms for francis when you uh, yeah. i feel like you need you need to beta test them and you need to use hmm. the wexit system Ah uh, yes. Oh no. Of course. Oh my goodness. I, 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 I should have known you would only 
uh, have us use the most sophisticated of tests to ensure that the the most uh, luxurious derriere uh, truly gets cradled and caressed properly in these seats. Why everyone exists in titties <laughs> some, to some degree, which is another thing we have to do for our seats. We gotta make sure that men and women, both their breasts feel comfortable in these seats, that they're that they are supported properly. So when we when they put on that belt, it's not just across the lap. It's like a it's like a, a warm embrace. For that, we need a special piece of equipment. Mm -hmm. And I know Jeff is gonna give it to us. Um, it's called the it Shat Nerd. <laughs> of course it is. Where is that? You know, I got it. I got it. Yeah, named after the the famous guy who saw a thing on a plane wing once. That right. Guy. Yes. Yes. Exactly. That's uh. Wait, what is this again? You said it's a device. It's a, yes, it's the, the device that that holds everything together oh, for them. Right. You know. That's right. Sorry. Yes, I'm so glad that you put so much emphasis on men's breasts as well. That's very important. Well, as, as as a man who has breasts, I understand. Yes. So, yes, we're going to get Shatner's hug. Um, we're going to just, well, well, let's, hang on. Let me restart. See here. See here. See here. Anonymous tits. Um, More of that, I see. I understand. Yes. They're quite nice. Yes. Now, everyone mm. really echoes <laughs> deliriously what, a very it's what happens device. is, yes. is explain how this See works I very interesting device right what happens is um it it like moves your breast together and it, they just oh. echo throughout the plane the sound of it the sound of them slapping together oh. yes <laughs> and i don't really know how that helps the plane be safe um to mm. be honest with you Mm. Um, is I it think... like involved in the snack system somehow? Like, does it help? With <laughs> oh, that? thank God you're here, Lori. You're right. I forgot. <sighs> it helps open up cracks the peanuts because we right. don't have we don't have bags of peanuts. We actually have the, the shelled nuts you have to crack open, <laughs> and it makes a big mess. To be honest with you, we got to clean it all up afterwards. But uh, I don't know. Our customers love it. Um, they love getting shattered. Anyway. Laura, you know what else is? Wow, you know this this poll this poll just came in. It wasn't about butts, but uh, but what our customers would love the most about our airline, mm. um, and it's just really really exciting, um, and it's uh, it's Yazid. Oh God! Wow. <laughs> well, that's so rude. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. Uh, the uh, the the yearly. Um, mm. artistic, mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh, <sighs> 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 I think it's the yearly artistic zookeepers. Oh, zookeepers. Like... Okay. I was thinking Zodiac, but I think I like zookeepers better. Oh, <laughs> oh, wait, do you way, have yes. something? Yeah. No, 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 please, please. <laughs> I like this. The, so these zookeepers, yes, because they have to wrangle them in, right? Zookeepers, of course. Go on. The, Sorry. Well, they're artistic zookeeper um, mm -hmm. idea dump. So it's like this, they have this convention yearly and they all have an idea dump and it helps determine. That makes sense because the zookeepers are so used to the animals taking dumps. I, that it inspires I also had an idea dump idea. earlier this afternoon. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we don't need to hear about that. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, <clears throat> ah, I see, I see. Okay. Well, anyway, yes, no, Lori, I think I think you have something to let Francis know that it's just the most important thing, the big, big message we've got to get across to everyone, right? What was the, what was the acronym for that again that Francis is going to tell us? Well, after the yearly, I almost said zoologist zookeeper idea dump. <laughs> <laughs> the we came to the conclusion of implementing the smorgasbord 
<laughs> I'm sorry, it's right there, and it's like just just tempting me. No, 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 no. You're absolutely right. We cannot deny this. We cannot uh, push this aside any longer. No, nope. because um, uh, because these these su- these superior moms own really uh, really g- gorgeous uh, asses that sit broadly on all of these radical departures you know it, it, as 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 does as we do on these planes and that is why that is why we are going to make this happen we are going to make sure that the the best seats are available to our to our, uh, our our clients that our passengers are happy and of course that they have space and room to do uh uh you know twerking or whatever it was that <laughs> One of our yeah. one of our luxurious the twerking pageant. Uh, the twerking pageant. They can. It will allow for a twerking pageant that our uh, uh, flight attendants will uh, will do every hour on the hour in a flight, uh, which doesn't and make the sense passengers for passengers like too. They can participate. Well, no, they, unfortunately, when they're strapped in like they are in their seats, not going to happen. Hey, but remember, when you get to a certain uh, altitude, you can move around about the cabin. It's fine. <laughs> Oh, oh, true. No, that's a good point. By the way, thank goodness you brought up the radical departures. That's that's a thing only our airline does. Radical departures. I mean, it is. Yes, it is very, very radical. And you know what? You know, the special thing we always say on those radical departures is get these monkey fighting snakes off this Monday to Friday Friday plane. (laughs) Important. (laughs) Important. But that's only when they're radical departures. Only when they're radical. That's why they're so radical. There's snakes on the plane and we got to get the hell out of there. That's true. Thank you, Sam Jackson. All right. Uh, and that's scene. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> All right. Thanks, everybody, for those great acronyms. We'll be using them still, by the way. Oh, yes. That's right. We use them for the uh, Patreon later. Butt line is for troubadours? That's for the oh. BL. Uh, yeah. Oh, the blift. The blift. The blift. The blift. Okay. Mm-hmm. Nice. For troubadours. Butt lifting is for tap dancers. That's another one. Butt lifting <laughs> intelligence for tap dancers. I see. <laughs> Well, I mean, they kind of, you know, as a tap dancer, I'm sure they have to have magnificent butts because that's that's a lot of work. That's true. Tap dancing, yeah. Dancers have, yeah that's that's a good point. A lot of river, mm-hmm. like river dancing. Don't say sorry. That's the reaction we want. Okay, good. That's good. <laughs> On this plane, all behinds are first class. Nice. Wow, that's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> that's our slogan. That is. I have a, I have a first class butt seat. Yeah. It's like, hey. how does that work? Sorry. Hey, Tom, it's been a few decades since I heard the word radical so many times. Welcome, Dead Tom. Totally, That's dude. True. Oh, we're, yeah, it's yeah. tubular. Uh, <laughs> we'll Psych. keep using it. Not. Oh, so, you know what? They said you uh, so weird that you said Psych because Psy Lock is now in the lead in our butt oh. ball. Yes. She surged ahead of Rogue. Yes. Lori's excited. That's her, who she's rooting for. That's the correct choice. I, I think, honestly, I think it's going to be my choice just because ran in the night. Oh, you haven't voted yet? Uh, I can't poll. vote. It's my own poll. Oh. I can only make another end YouTube the poll. account. I could. I could. <laughs> yes. I can, I can end the poll, though, at any time. It lets me do that. But I'll let it run. I'll let it yeah, until the end. Till the end. Yes, that's right. Uh, all right. Keep voting, folks. Thanks for being here. All right. Uh, that was uh, super amazing acronyms. Thanks for that. All right. Before we get to other stuff, more talk about butts and uh, Super Camera Freeze game. Let's talk to Lori about her projects. Uh, let's start. Oh, that's cool. All right, sorry, Tammy just sent me a cool message. Uh, let's start with the the X series attire and pins. Uh, you want to tell people what that's about, and I'll share the uh, screen here as you do that. Um, sure. Yeah. Um, trying to think of a, um, a acceptable way to talk about it. Um, so we basically came up with oh. the idea to make hoodies inspired by, you know, a certain TV show that just came out, just released. 
because we're all nostalgic for these characters and their uniforms and their designs. Um, it initially started off as a hoodie campaign or a hoodie plan. Um, my partner, Eric designed a few hoodies and then kind of just, we were like, Oh, you know, we should make, you should make more of these. These are fucking awesome. Um, and then we, we also wanted to do enamel pins um we were kind of stuck on what we wanted to do for a little while and we finally landed on because of all the controversy with uh a certain famous characters but not being round anymore um we you know we were jokingly like we should make butt pins we should make a like we should make a butt pin for that character and then he made one and then we were like but what if it was a butt pin for all the characters because these are adorable and yeah, now we have X series inspired hoodies and a whole bunch of pins of butts. They're astonishing. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> is that is that on your thing? Is that it is it called? is that yes. is what they're called, yeah. Yes. Here we go. There, I just got to them. So there, ooh, I really like that one on the right. Um Yeah, Beast, yeah. No, not oh. No. Oh, not. you're right. What? What are you talking about? <laughs> it's the same way on the screen. Uh, here, let me scroll through the butts you, you can get. Let's see. And we've unlocked. These are a bunch of these have been unlocked with stretch goals as well. We only had six of them unlocked. Ah, first. that's what I was wondering because the one I really liked was not in that. So it was a stretch goal. I see. Very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Excellent. I so love the, the name of the unlocked. hoodies, by the way. I love all the hoodie names. Oh, the, the character names? <laughs> The badger. Oh, yeah. the badger. Or the kinetic, <laughs> the kinetic gambler. <laughs> oh, you look, want to be look, the leader, there, you could be it's one eye. yourself, right? Yeah. Yes, Not it's me. The, the spark, sparkler, sparkly. What sparkles. Is sparkles. Sparkles. Yeah, sparkles. Mm -hmm. And they're super comfy. They're super bright. Um, they're awesome. I want one of each one. If you like hoodies and you like this TV show, <laughs> That they're definitely inspired from. Maybe, you guys should I, pick I, one up. I just love all these names. Southern Sugar. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, Metal Bird. <laughs> <laughs> I, I saw <laughs> Metal Bird. <laughs> I'm glad you like Metal. So Metal Bird kind of came from. There's a. There's a. I don't know if you're familiar with Pete Holmes, but Pete Holmes does a bunch oh, yes. of X Men skits. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there's one where it's just basically him just shitting all over our Archangel and just being like, you're a bird. Bird. And he just like chases him out of the room calling him a bird. Oh, is that the one where he fires the X-Men? Yes. Okay, yeah. That's so, hilarious. Fainty Telepath, does she faint a lot? In the show, yeah, in the, in the show original show. Oh, mm -hmm. that's why this one image is the guy fainting. I get it now. Yes. Your picks. There's a whole bunch of silly Easter eggs and stuff for people who are really into it. Yeah, so look, there you go. I'm just trying to show you all these folks. There's tons of them. Um, the yes, shapeshifter we... one shapeshifts into any of the ones we've unlocked, too. Wait, just make really? me laugh. I just love them. They're, they're so funny. There's one that turns into any other hoodie? Yes. Oh, the, the shapeshifter. Oh, my God. That's mm -hmm. amazing. Yeah. So and those, this is amazing, folks. The goal was 5,000. They're already at 40,000, over 40,000. Uh, yeah, and, and we have like... more. We're unlocking more stuff at 350 backers. We're unlocking stuff at 45,000. And then we have more unlocks planned after that. Eric is losing his mind designing new hoodies and new pins for everyone. So we have a constant stream of stuff to unlock and give you guys. I'm, just here, I'm here for the names, though. Just give me more names. <laughs> He's like, I'll pledge just for more names. I just want the names because the names are really funny. I mean, the names <laughs> are really great. So I want more names. Uh, let's see here. I'm trying to. Pierre says they make cool Christmas gifts. They do. Sure. They make any kind of gifts, right? Birthday. Yes. And I, yeah. I mean, the heart, the butts are hearts. They could be Valentine's Day gifts. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Also great, great to wear because uh, pins are huge at Comic Cons. Great, so great to have at Comic Cons mm -hmm. to wear. Uh, and like, if you, oh, go ahead. Sorry, sorry. I was gonna say if yeah. you want to do kind of a lazy cosplay, like you don't feel like making a whole costume, like these work pretty well. Oh, that's a great idea. 
because I never have time to put together a cosplay usually because I'm doing so many panels. Exactly. So you can just do like cool hair and then do a hoodie. These come in uh, different sizes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they go uh, two extra small to six extra large. Holy crap. You kind of so it's a everything. really good size range. Yes. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. I've never seen that range. That's amazing. Um, yeah, I was very surprised. We actually have um, we have uh, an unstoppable hoodie, if you can guess which character that's designed on, um, that is only in 6XL. So it's super oversized and you kind of fit, fits over you like a like a Snuggie. It's awesome. Nice. Tammy says the Wolverine pin goes with the story of his onset injury. Oh, did Jackman? Did Jackman injure himself? Um, Wait, what? Did he injure his butt? Like, why yeah, did I need he more his information? Butt ass? Is that what you mean, Tammy? Tell us more. Nothing like a good old closet cosplay, Scorpio. Exactly. Uh, all right. So there you go, folks. There's like so tons of hoodies, tons of pins. Uh, you can check it out. Oh, let me put the um. Let me put the link up in the uh, thing here. So it's because it's a little different. I actually haven't heard of this one. Back in backer kit, like kind of like yeah. a Kickstarter, right? Type thing. Instead of because it's a backer kit instead of Kickstarter, so we do back it. Back it. We go to studios. Okay, and like so, I've never used it before, but I tried clicking it yesterday. You got to click back it, and then you select what what you want, right? After you click back it, which mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Rather than having like the, the things already listed, like a Kickstarter does on the main page. Um, yes, I, I think I, you can also black. click. Uh, there's a, if you scroll down just a like a tiny bit, it says pledge levels. If you click on pledge levels, oh, here, then I you can you. also thank mm -hmm. you, thank you. Thank you can also select what you want to get in there. We have the custom hoodie, we have stickers, we have uh, the collector's box, of course, and there's the unstoppable gigantic hoodie. Oh, now I know who that is. I don't know why. Now that I've seen it, now I, I know exactly. Who now you, yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. So there you go, folks. Click on pledge levels uh, to get that. Awesome. All right, cool. Uh, yeah, thank you, guys. So I go to backit.lagunastudios.net and uh, check it out. Uh, these are awesome. All right. And the other thing you got going on, which you also just funded today, right? Yeah. Yeah. Just a, like a couple hours before the show. Let me get that on the screen. All right. Tell them what that is. So what's, yeah, what's this comic? So it's, sorry, I wasn't sure if I was waiting for you to actually get it on the screen sorry, or not. Yeah, okay. There we go. <laughs> so speaking of butts, cause that cover has one lower down. Um, <laughs> It's just out of range of her butt. Um, it's Death's Kiss. Uh, we're working with uh, Russell Nolte, who's a USA Today bestselling author, and also SK Prince, who is a New York Times and USA Today bestselling romance author, um, to give you a sexy comic um, with supernatural elements, death, um i'm trying to think of the best way to describe it in short fashion um i need like a sex love and tragic destiny i think is is how russell described it um nice she you know she's been taking people's lives for a very long time and she finally encounters someone who she can touch because she's like a like a spirit of death or a psychopomp a bringer of death and she finally encounters a man that she can she can actually physically touch so and then sex ensues <laughs> oh excellent <laughs> so... i like that <laughs> So there's there's supernatural elements, sex. Uh, there's actually a really good story. It's not just sex, but there is a lot of sex. I hope um, there's a splash page that just says "sex ensues" and like big bold. There letters. should be, honestly. And they're very well drawn. It's yeah, it's it's, it's really. Um, yeah. We have a bunch of cool oh, yeah, variant covers. Um, yeah, yeah I was gonna I was gonna ask. Was, yeah, was you can see kind of a preview of the art here too. Ooh, nice. Yeah, it's really it's uh, really, really nice. Thank you. Yeah, Yishan Lee is awesome. She also draws a Glarian 
if you guys have ever seen that on Kickstarter, Charlie Stickney's mm. Galarian. Um, and that's our main character. They, no one in the series has names. It's just him and her. Oh, interesting. Mm. So that's why I'm like, I'm being intentionally vague here and there's, Oh yeah. Her, him. Uh, the book is also, it's a comic book, but it's, um, a four size. So it's like 8.6 by 11.5. It's like pretty big. Isn't that like so it's an oversized legal, book. Legal paper sized or something. But, it, yeah. Ish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. So it's wider than a normal comic. There's more art on each page. Um, Nice. You want to make sure everyone can see the nudity when you're reading in a bus. You know? Exactly. Oh, but. there's the butt with the hand covering it. Yeah. There, there's the butt. Yeah, like I figured I should put her face in the thumbnail and not just her ass with the hand on it, but I don't know. Maybe I should change it. Hey, no. You never know. The no. ass might, might catch a, yeah. That, right, no, that, that's that's the uh, that's what entices you to move. Yeah, like, to keep, keep reading, going. Right, it's like, yeah. can we see the butt? I mean, okay. hell, one of the covers has just boobs well we got we got boobs nice covers and naughty covers right yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So here's the, the something i also want to mention is the whole thing uh you notice the campaign is in french and english the entire comic is also available in french because sk prince's audience is she has a big french audience big audience in france uh -huh. so we well, yeah we made it in we made two whole versions of it and it's going to be a nightmare to fulfill but you're welcome <laughs> it's, it's going to be great oh good Okay. <laughs> oh, I love it. Uh, I wish we didn't have to censor it, but there's the naughty cover. Uh, well, yeah, for Kickstarter, right? You have to for that, right? Yeah. yeah, it's just boobs. That that one's my personal favorite. A little, yeah, a little more than boobs. Um, I I know I'm not supposed to have a favorite, but I just love the style of that painting and the hair movement and the I love all of them but I yeah. that one they're all great yeah. we won't tell anyone it's all right okay we'll keep <laughs> oh let's see all right very nice very yeah, cool. great, so great we've got virgin covers metal virgin covers we have prints that you can add on um and we actually because we just hit goal um we're going to announce the first stretch goal which is going to be a metal bookmark that also has nudity on it Oh, all right. Oh. Time to start reading and... physical books again. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, how can you say no when there's boobs and butts on them? <laughs> can't can't get this on a Kindle. I'm saying that now. All right, awesome. There, there you go, folks. Uh, Death's Kiss. Again, are just uh, almost a. Oh, there, it's going up right before my eyes. Nice. Yay, uh, guys. That's awesome. I love when that happens. So t a little over ten thousand four hundred. So so you know it's definitely funded. You're definitely gonna gonna get it. And, yeah, the book's uh, also completely done. So like you're, there's no waiting time. As soon as this funds and we get the money two weeks later, it's going to print, and then you're gonna get it a month or two later, max. It's all ready. Awesome. So folks, for that one, go .lagunastudios.net. Uh, and I've, I put both those links in the chat. That one and the back it one. Uh, those there will lead you to the two. We'll also put them in the description section below this video if you're watching uh, in post. You can click on it, go there. Because I think both, well, this one actually has almost a month left. The other one, I think, had 16 days, it said. Left. So yes. Still, still time, still plenty of time to uh, get some cool, get a cool comic, get some cool art, get a cool hoodie, pins, lots of stuff. Everything. everything get a cool hoodie to wear while you read your porn. Yeah. That's <laughs> right. I like, to, I like to wear hoodies when I read my not safe for work. Pump well, it. you could wear a hoodie with no pants. <laughs> you could. Well, I'm just saying. Particularly if I get the unstoppable one, it would like cover my whole body. It's fantastic. I can wear it with no pants. I love it. I'm just saying. I'm just... Have you done that? I have done it. Okay. It's really comfortable. So it is kind of like, it's like a onesie almost, right? Or something. Yeah. Like it goes down. It probably goes down to just above my knees. Like it's huge. I love it. Mm, yeah, that's good, man. All right, that sounds good. All right, there you go, folks. Uh, let's see here. Well, okay, yes, Pierre. Maybe yes. Maybe the, well, the kids. Maybe not yeah. kids, but you know, it's for us adults. Well, the kids could get the hoodies. The hoodies. The kids can get the hoodies. Yeah. It's great for them. There's something for everyone because it goes to two two XS, right? So yeah. kids can wear it too. 
size. Of yeah, a hundred percent. Let's see. Wait, this I think this is about Jackman. Entire female staff was waiting around a corner. He tried to cover himself and forgot about the claws he had on. Oh, you mean he was naked oh. and he was trying to cover his butt? For and he the, had the... yeah. Hmm. Wait, what is this for? Why? Why were? Okay, I don't know any more of the story. Like, why were there just stat? He, I mean, he didn't know people were around the corner. I guess probably not. They were probably doing the scene where he run, where he escapes the lab because he escapes the lab naked. Um, in Wait, Wolverine Origins, I think. I think it's Origins where he. Oh, I thought she was talking about the new sh shoot. The no, 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 no. This is old. She's talking this about old this... stuff. Yeah, this is old. Yeah. Oh, I thought he just did this. All right. No. All right. Well, there you go. Yes. Uh, that's dangerous. All right, so there you go, folks. Check the stuff out. We'll put the links up again. Uh, or you can go to just lagunastudios.net, right? I'm assuming there's links to all that stuff there as well. The main site. There might be. A, on our social media, too, there are links. Okay, yes. all right. So Laguna Studios. Just search that everywhere. Um, all right, awesome. Love it. Thank you, guys. All right. Boogie with a hoodie. You can boogie in a hoodie. Absolutely. That's true. Do whatever you want in it, really. And apparently... Uh, Join the backer train, which is going on now at Backer Kit. It says, "Join one on the backer train," and they give you like a time limit to join the backer train. Ooh, so, yeah! Wait, you Thank you if someone back. back. Is that what that means? Mm -hmm. It's like Somebody the Twitch hype it. train. Yeah. What's a? Tw I don't know what that is either. What's a Twitch hype train? It's like when you get. Subscribe. Yeah, I think someone subscribes yeah. and then another person subscribes oh. within a certain amount of time. It's a hype okay. train. Okay, so you have like I a train that's going out of subscribers. Yes. Yeah. I see. That's cool. I like it. Encouraging people to support. Yeah. Thank you, guys. All right. Cool. Yeah. Thanks, guys. All right. Let's go to our next super geeky question. Uh, which there we go. This is actually now we're gonna get to the official question. We've been uh, the poll's been about. Um. So, since as Laurie mentioned, uh, well, by the way, folks, X X Men ninety seven. At least for me, so far, I've watched the first two episodes. I love it. I think it's great. Uh, but. I didn't see in the first one, but Francis, you're right. In the second episode, there's a very clear shot. Her butt's flat as hell. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. like, so, so besides the rogue's butt, it's great. But so we want to know though, who is who has the sexiest butt uh, out of any fictional character? It doesn't have to be a superhero. I was going to say you did the poll already. But no, that's just that's just four. That's just four characters. Right. Four characters does not represent the entire world of fiction, Francis. That was just to get them started, you know, oh. thinking about it. Uh, by the way, Psylocke is still in the lead, though. Just ahead of Rogue with 35% of the vote. And after you guys saw the pin, come on. I know. The Psylocke pin. When I, I saw it, I was like, that's the pin I want. Not Psylocke pin. <laughs> yeah. Is that your choice? Is Psylocke your choice, Lori? Or do you have another butt? I mean, I so I think Psylocke is a really good pick, but I think Nightwing is a very important one that we have to mention. Oh, that's right. He does a very tight ass, doesn't he? And he what there was a game he was in recently where just like they they had, they do close up like zooms of his ass all over it. I don't remember was it, was what it the game is Knights? called. Maybe because he was in that. I played that, but maybe I, didn't I think that's it. See, maybe I didn't get far enough to see the close up of his ass. Did you play as Nightwing? Well, you can play as a, any of the... There's four characters. You can play as any right. of them. At one point, I did. Hmm. But I, I played as Barbara Gordon the most. But then I think I played as him second. Maybe. I don't know. I didn't play it that much, to be honest with you. Yeah, you didn't play it long enough to get the I zooms. know. I didn't. I, I didn't know. But I realized. I didn't realize there was the <laughs> yeah, <it's> close <laughs> All right. So you got Nightwing. Nightwing is your choice. Very good. Nightwing right. and Psylocke, and if Psylocke. I can have right. two. Yes, you can have two. Absolutely. Okay. As many butts as you want. Uh, <laughs> put in the chat, folks, who you think has the sexiest butt. Oh, nope. well, apparently he doesn't want anyone to talk about butts anymore. <laughs> so he left immediately. Uh, <laughs> I got distracted looking at butts. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> he tapped out and then accidentally closed this window yeah. because of the butts. I know. I was like, whoops. Anyway, <laughs> the, folks, tell us in the chat who you think. If it's somebody from the poll or somebody new, like Black Canary, a Scorpio's choice. It's a good choice. Um, I'm going to, um, so I mean, Psylocke probably would, would edge out Rogue for me uh, for comic book characters, just because in the 90s, she always, like, Psylocke always had like, uh, like the Fong esque kind 
costume the way they drew her. Um, but I was thinking video game characters for video games, even though I've only played a little bit, of, I think I'm going to go Widowmaker from out, uh, Overwatch. She's a very nice butt. Oh, yes, oh. that's true. Widowmaker is very sexy yeah. in general. Very beautiful. That's a good one. Uh, she has a nice ass. What do you what do you got, Francis? Oh, no one else said anything? Oh. Oh. Well, let's see. What do we got? Oh, of course, Miranda from Mass Effect. That's right. They had the whole ass shot there, which they, they took out of the uh, Legendary Edition. They, they removed a, a couple of scenes, apparently, from the they Legendary Edition. They removed the edition, one where right? it was, like, lingering behind her during yeah, the Yeah, which who cares, right? Because, yeah. It, well, they it, did it was, just a different camera shot. Right. Yeah. Um, wow, I never thought about those guys, because, yeah. Uh, Mass Effect, happy. yeah. Mass Effect. Has... I'm trying to think of, like... Um, like really unusual characters who've shown their butts, but they're like, wow, that's a pretty impressive butt for a character that you know you would never see like the the butt for. But I, I, the ones I the ones I could think of is like you would never see the butt, <laughs> right? Like you never thought you'd ever see um, Patrick Stewart's butt, but you do when he's naked in the uh, what in the Romulan or in the uh, Cardassian camp, and he's you don't like, see oh, his butt, right? yeah, because he's naked, he's hung you up actually and naked. See his butt, right? You see his butt. You I think you're Picard watching butt. an X-rated version. Oh uh, yeah, so I'm seeing you see the card butt though. Yeah. Um so that doesn't work. So I was well, thinking so, I I feel like SpongeBob showed his butt at one point and he was like super caked up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah, cake. I just love that cake, that butts are now it's like ah uh, there's a bakery in right? the, Yeah, a bakery in the back. It's all that cake. <laughs> I Is haven't heard that. It? I like that. There's a bakery in the back. All that cake. That's a butt cake. Uh, okay. <laughs> Who's your choice? Uh, oh God. Uh, well, I can't believe you didn't go with this one. I'm on a I'm on a video game hot characters list, and this is your favorite hook. from Street Fighter, Cammy, who's known. Oh, Cammy, for I guess her butt. so. Yeah, she's that's known true. for showing off her ass. That's true, but it, it's it's but she gives it away so easily. I was thinking maybe like two B, oh, like two B from Near Automata. Uh, you have choice. to blow her up. You have to make her explode before you can see her. Oh, well, yes, you're pointing. No, she. That's a good. That's a good yeah. one. I forgot about her. Oh, you yeah. Just put the camera down. You can see. Just no, no. Camera. Well, and you get it. Yes, and you, you get a. Uh, well, you can. But if you want to remove that bottom part of her dress, you explode her, and it's gone for the whole game. Um, anyway, I like that. That's how you did. Just <laughs> oh, yeah. okay. you get a you get a trophy or uh, achievement if you linger on her achievement. camera. Yeah, if you linger the camera on her butt while she's climbing a ladder, you get like an achievement for it. Um, and she'll say something to how stop you, staring. Come on, how can you not do that? You're climbing up. Of course, you're looking well, up from a below. You're not staring. That's supposed to stare. It's impolite. Get you know, get your eyes. Uh, I mean, what clearly you... they want you to. So that's what are true. You supposed to do? That's skirt was really short, and yeah, she... um, let's see here. Super caked up. There we go. Super caked. Yeah, it's a very cake. Chaz is sticking with rogues, butterous southern buns. Oh yeah, oh, I love those butterous southern buns. I just like the way he described. That. It just makes kinda... me want bread, honestly. Oh, like, yeah, exactly. Uh, put some butter on my, my buns, sugar. Just want some biscuits or something. Yeah. Oh, biscuits. Yeah. yeah. I think oh, that hungry. should be the episode for tonight. Super caked up. You're right. Oh, here we go. We got uh, Kier, Kier, Kiri, Kiri Lestat. Lestat. Colossus Kier. literally has. Kyer. 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 He's Thank actually the designer of the hoodies. Oh, very nice. Kyer. So we oh should give God. him credit. Mm -hmm. Well done. Those are yeah, we were great. talking about earlier. They're amazing. Yeah. We love them. Well, way, mm -hmm. way to go. Colossus literally has buns of steel. That is true. Oh, Joe oh, Faye Valentine is a good one. Great choice. Mm -hmm. I actually wish they um, they showed him off more often, but her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I love Faye. Yeah, she's great. Uh, all right. So wait, what was your actual choice, Francis? Two B. <clears throat> oh, two B from Near Automata. For those yeah. you don't know, video game. She's an android. Her name is 2B. Oh, look at all these people turning in. Chris Enns, 1080. Faye Valentine is an amazing choice. That agrees. I, yes. That's Keiko. Hey, Keiko. Hi, Keiko. Who's Keiko? She also part of the. Oh, Brian's wife. That's Keiko. Oh. Yeah. But does she also work on the project? No, she's just a friend. Oh, okay. Good. Well, welcome, Keiko. Yes, welcome. We're glad you're here. Keiko. Uh, 
No, yes, yeah, not no Brian's wife from D Space Nine. It's a different Keiko. It is a different Keiko. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good. Thanks. Oh, good. Yeah. Oh, you're in the right place. You you're are. In the right place. <laughs> My favorite show, and Francis has been re watching it recently. I still have. Yeah, I'm still hitting them out of order. What about Juggernaut's butt in Deadpool? Yeah, but that was Wait, CGI. Do you see his butt? You do. I think he's wearing a uh, like a prison outfit, and I think you get to see it, like it rips or something. You see it? I don't remember, but really, yeah, mm -hmm. I don't remember that. Francis remembers Shit. all these butt things we don't think exist. Francis, I don't know. You have a very good butt memory. Well, yeah, it gets seared into your mind when you've seen some pretty horrendous behinds. So yeah, mm. just you just start remembering butts. Oh, I've seen all these horrendous. Asses. What defines a horrendous one? Yes. Like, exactly. I don't want to mention it because people might look it up. <laughs> okay, don't. Never mind. I don't want you to look it up. It's an old, like, early 2000s. Oh, okay. Um, I know where you're going with this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe early, late 90s. But yeah, that was a meme. Or yeah, something. if you just joined us, our question uh, right now is who, who has the sexiest butt of any fictional character? Uh, you There is a poll in the chat you can vote in, or you can just give your own answer. We'd love to hear that. Um, by the way, uh, if any, I know some new people here who are here for Lori, we appreciate it very much, but also don't, if you're here, please hit the subscribe button if you don't mind and or give us a like, uh, that helps us out, uh, very much and helps more people see it and help more people see Lori's cool projects. Uh, so it helps me help them help, help yourself, help them help me help everybody. Something. Yes. Yeah. DS9, I think you meant Voyager, the best of all Trek shows, the courteous. Oh, no. We're going to start a fight. We, gonna... we definitely we definitely did not mean Voyager. Uh, let's see here. Don't forget in the Tornado episode of King of the Hill, Hank Hill's butt. Well, no, there's a whole episode where he can't, they wonder how he sits in chairs because it's so flat. Like, because he, he has no butt. Oh. Oh, it has to be fictional. I can't vote Lori. Sorry, I have no shame. Oh, wow. Lori, you, you get a vote like... for best ass. Way to go. I'm okay with that. <laughs> yeah, why wouldn't you be, right? <laughs> right. All right. Cool. Thanks, Keiko. Uh, by the way, Roke has actually retaken the lead. She's 37% to 32% for Psylocke now. Hey, I know, but don't be. Rogue is awesome. Her butt's awesome. No, she is. She is. She is. And in Fortnite, Francis and I agree, she has the best ass in Fortnite. The Fortnite. It's so amazing that they do that stuff for video games. And they're like, you know what? Well, but we don't have to do this, but we're going to do it anyway. <laughs> yeah, as well they should. Um, all right, folks. Yes, you can keep giving us your hot butt answers, hot buns, hot cross buns. Uh, any other ones you guys want to throw out before we... Uh... Hot buns? Yes. What's your favorite hot... Like uh, Cinnabon or... Uh... Mm. Uh, Betty Crocker. <laughs> Betty Crocker. I don't know. No, Betty the best. Crocker the best. Recipes for anything. Uh, who voted Captain America? A lot of people voted Captain America. <laughs> Surprisingly. Oh, Kate goes throwing people. shade on Cap. I guess she doesn't like America's ass. No. Um. No. Best. The best. The best buns. I think are the uh, Cheddar Bay biscuits from uh, Red Lobster. They have I've the best. Red Lobster best they have the best I don't know about cheddar bay but I don't know the they're good that. they're just like i haven't had them in in years but man i remember that was the thing i got Does red lobster still exist i'm pretty sure it does yeah i, I guess it depends on where you live i don't think I don't it think... exists everywhere there used no. to be here i don't think that we have them here anymore no they're all going away a little bit bit by bit mm. can't get your cheddar cheddar butt buns whatever my, je cheddar my cheddar bay. butt buns no cheddar butt buns. no but that's what i want <laughs> um all right let's see here oh, okay yes jalu gives us his order of what star trek he likes the most well i like that my my top two are the same as yours great job I'm, i like that uh i won't go through the whole list but ds9 and next generation very good um, i can i can agree with those discoveries at the bottom i that's cool too that's all right hey they're having their final uh, ever season are they it's it this is it they're what done. Is this, this is their last and fifth, fifth and season? final season where they discover the ever powerful cube thing that apparently can change the universe or whatever. Okay. Oh, not a Borg cube? Uh, no, no, no. It's just like a little box. Oh, they don't discover butts. 
No, it's, it's good for box. What if it was shaped like a butt? The box. I mean, just, then they'll just go. Are they still in the 32nd, 1st century, whatever the heck they are? Yeah, they didn't go backwards. Okay. Oh, Ke Keiko, sorry. Agrees, DS9 number one. I really don't like the original series, so that would be lower for me. Avoided Discovery because I heard bad things. I am not a fan of Discovery. I tried the pilot, but some, some people love it. Some people hate it, you know. But there's a track out there for everyone, I think. I forgot Picard, which I would put before. Oh, yes, the show Picard, right. Uh -huh. I gotcha. <laughs> no! Lori's making, making faces. I, I'm not, oh, You're that's shame. good. I'm not a Picard fan either, actually, so. I'm with you. It's I'm, just such a downer until a certain point. It's, it's like ah, the first season is just, ah, it's no, just the depressing. I it's depressing. I mean, it's none of it's great, honestly, but the first season is so depressing. Hey, look, I'm just glad people are watching Trek at all. You know, that's true. I didn't mind Discovery, but I like I I accept that it's very different from the rest of it. Like it's like yes. kind of like watching a bunch of Star Trek movies, and not all of them are good. But like I right. like some aspects of it. Mm -hmm. It's bad. Quentin Tarantino never got a chance to do his fourth Star Trek film or the fourth Star thank, Trek film. Thank God he didn't. That's the most ridiculous <laughs> thing ever. Tarantino has no business being around. Can you just imagine all the alien feet we'd be seeing though? Oh, so many Ooh. feet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with different sets of toes. That's the only thing I saw. I, that's the only thing I remember from uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood is just all the feet. All the bare feet. It was just barefoot after barefoot. Oh, there was... were some. I actually tried watching that last, like a week or two ago, and I, and I stopped as soon as I got to the Bruce Lee scene because I was so fucking infuriated. <laughs> oh, it's okay. It, it, it go, I don't even know it how it goes ends. by pretty quickly. I don't even know how it then... ends because I'm like, it's basically like, oh, Bruce Lee sucked and he's getting his ass kicked. I'm like, go fuck yourself, Tarantino. Like, wow. Well. I want to put my foot through his it's, face. It's uh, good, though. Oh, so? <laughs> Brad kicking his butt kicked and rolls. Yeah, that's fine. He gets his butt kicked by Angelina Jolie in uh, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. All right, waiting for Tarantino to make a Street Fighter movie with Jury as the lead character. <laughs> Jury is a cool character. I would love Tarantino to make a, a Street Fighter movie. That'd I be don't. great. I just want to. I want a good Street Fighter movie. That's what I would like. To see. Oh well, I know, I know one already exists in your mind, right? Yeah, yeah, one exists. <laughs> JCVD is an amazing guy. He's not. He's nowhere near. Ha, has nowhere near an American accent. Has no, no don't you know? Guy is a uh, Belgian, French, uh, Brussels. Yeah, but has kind of yeah. But who cares? He's amazing. I love him and everything. Well, so. I love Jacques Lavoie. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's not what made the movie bad. The movie's just a train wreck. Yeah, it did, nothing made the movie bad. It was great. No, yeah, was everything really right. made the movie bad. You're right. <laughs> I mean, you got Big Nan Wen, and you, it's still like, Chen Lin is still garbage. All right. I mean, listen, See, it's a fun movie to watch and make fun of. It's that. It's a fun that's movie. That's true. And praise. Yeah. <clears throat> Francis will never get yeah, That's cool. No, I'm glad someone, you know, I'm glad you love it. That's great. Yeah. I love his epic speech. Oh, he does make his epic speech, uh, Van Damme, right, in the Street Fighter movie. Yeah. And he's, it sounds like he's, you know, he's like on the toilet. He's like, ah, oh, we, we got to beat my son. You know, it's just very, oh, he's like, he's straining the whole time. Oh, like he's constipated. Yeah, he's, he's, that's him. That whole speech is like, oh, we got to get him. He's right. just powering up. He's powering up. <laughs> he is. It's like, all right, now go get to I'm taking a big dump. <laughs> Do not mind me. I'm just far and up. All right. That's what, yeah, that's what he does right before he does his flip kick. Yes. No, he, fle he flexes. He has to flex first, and then he does his flip kick. It's, oh. Oh, tears. oh before I forget uh, and get to some questions from the chat. Yes. Uh, so I, I want to mention, I was... Uh, I was on a on Monday. I was on a pot, new podcast. It's going to come out next week. Mm. I mean, the, my episode. But just give a shout out to him because John Martinez is one of. He says he's watching now. He's, I don't see him in the chat, but yeah, I think. He's Hi, uh, John. J John. John Martinez Pacarano. It's called the youtubecom slash at the Colony Pit. It's actually uh, my high school. So they're they're interviewing everybody who went to high school. My high school. And uh, so oh, check it out. oh, oh, your high school, not just high school in general. No, my high okay, school, okay. the high school I went to, which is called okay. Colony High. So at the Colony Pit, check it out, and I'll, I'll drop it when the episode's out. But they're cool guys. Anyway, I just want to give a shout out to them. Um, 
So uh, let's see here. Uh, what did Jalou ask? Oh, who is the best Trek butt? Marks <laughs> votes for seven of nine. It's hard, in that cat suit. It's hard not to, right? Because the other you don't really get to see most of the other butts because the, the way their clothing is. But do you have a do you have a vote for best Trek butt, Lori? Man, that's a big exhale. I'm really thinking about it. Yeah, I don't. I think I don't the yeah, seven nine is really the only answer. Yeah, that's it. I don't. I, I, I'm gonna. I like Jane. I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's a, that's, I don't think... that's a caffeinated butt right there. Yeah, it is. That's, a... like, that's coffee cake, as they like to call it. Mm. Did she balance her cup of coffee on that ass? Oh, God. Now, now, now I have the Kardashian with the... Yeah, Kim freaking... Kardashian with the yeah. flask. Yeah. Car Kardashian. O'Brien. <laughs> O'Brien has a good butt. There we go. There, well, Keiko has to say that. <laughs> she has the Bro choice. Oh, yes, <laughs> that's right. She She's married. That's true. That. <laughs> How about any good Klingon butts? I don't remember if like Garrick has a nice butt. Oh, he probably does. Probably does. He's always clothed though. Oh, yeah. But Sheer probably has a nice butt, right? Oh, I think well. it's a little skinny though. I a little skinny butt. It looks like. Yeah, you know, yeah, you're probably right. Never mind. I don't know. That's not. Some people like it. I like it a good, more thicker butt. But yes. <laughs> like that's that's I don't know. That's the simple. Part. Yes, well, it is. Well. <laughs> uh, let's see here. How did Quentin Tarantino, Tarantino convince Salma Hayek foot play was necessary in Dust Till Dawn? I like that movie. I, well, wait, that actually doesn't make sense. Um, that's a Robert Rodriguez movie with Tarantino. Yeah, he was in the in film. It. I guess Tarantino he helped write it or something, it. didn't he? Um, oh, maybe he did. Yeah. I don't. I don't remember this. I remember she has a big python in that same snake. He tells people he has a nice butt, but does he? Who does? Which one? Uh, O'Brien. Eric or Brian? Or maybe it could be Garrick because yeah. Garrick, you know, is always lying and telling That's half true. truths. That's true. Nurse Chapel from the original series had a sexy butt. Listers yeah. made thinks. There you go. Um, what do you think, uh, Francis? Who's the best butt? Oh, really? <laughs> Good answer, <laughs> okay. man. All answer. right, fine. Uh, uh, again, I didn't notice it when I when I was watching season one of the S nine. I noticed that Kira's butt was just like right there whenever She's, they did she scenes. has a tight costume. Yeah, her costume was just like. Have you seen her as the attendant in the Mirror Universe? I have not seen her as the attendant. Because that's a super tight leather pants she wears. I saw her. I did see a Mirror Universe, but she wasn't wearing anything tight. She was wearing like like oh. armor. She she one of the the first episode with her. I think she uh, was really tight. Then. I have to see that then. Sure, Cisco. Uh, Very tight. Seven. Uh, no, sorry, that's not the right one. I wanted to do. Oh, best track butt goes to the Tribbles. The Crodia says. There you go. Tribble butts. I don't Tribble know where they're located, but. I like it. I like it. All right. Here we go. Let me check in here. Oh, Rogue and Psylocke back in a tie. Man, this, this poll has just been oh, man. punctuated this whole. This is neck and neck here. Or ass and ass. I don't know. Um, and, and Deadpool's making a respectable showing as well. Yeah. All right. Poor Cap. Just forget it. He's done. Um, all right. Major Mirror Carrot, though, is super hot. That's true. I, I know who to invite for the Trek episode, apparently. <laughs> well, she, she's been on our show. Uh, oh, Nana, Nana, visitor, you mean? No, not Nana. Keiko. Oh, Keiko. Uh, well, yeah, why would I think about the actual person in Star Trek who was on the show before? Because we did well. Sadly, though, I. But we know. should invite Keiko. I agree. Yeah. Absolutely. She knows her Trek. Yes. The cheek to cheek. I did that joke already, Marks. The cheek to cheek. And. And, but he uh, wasn't here, so he's allowed to do I it. I know, but no, but I just want to let you know that Jeff did not appreciate it. Anyway, moving on. I appreciate when Mark said it. All right. <laughs> I'm going to scroll back up to the, let's see if the uh, acronyms right. are still there. Let's thank our the, patrons, uh, then we have patrons, one last yeah. game for you guys. Uh, so, our, oh, so anyway, folks, you can, uh, Patreon is a way for you to support us. It's a way to give like a monthly pledge. Uh, it can be any amount you want, dollar, two, five, whatever. Um, any amount is super helpful. Again, even if it's really low, uh, you can go to patreon.com slash super geeked up. There it is. Help us out. Uh, you can also do a super chat or a super sticker. That's at the bottom of your chat window. It should be a little like dollar symbol or dollar sign or something. Uh, you can do any amount there too. Just a one-time pledge. That's always a big help. Anyway, our super shout out patrons are the ones that are at $10 or more a month. And we give them a shout out every single week on our show. Uh, and today we're going to do it with acronyms, right? Yes. Francis. 
Uh, so we're going to scroll back up to these acronyms you guys gave us an earlier game. Uh, do you have, uh, Lori, do you have the doc open or not by any chance? If not, no problem. But I do. Okay. You can join <laughs> us in these acronyms then. Uh, we'll, I'll pick them out for you. Don't worry. If you don't, you don't need to scroll back up if you don't want to. Um, but we're going to use these acronyms to thank our patrons. Uh, you got one ready there, Francis? Yes. For Greg Allen Poole, uh, Galaga. You are our Galaga, which is uh, a, a, a great angry lad, always great ass. There you go. Oh, mm -hmm. all right. Well, Rachel J <laughs> is, what's up? Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Rachel, you are a wizard, always zipping. I'm not, since xylophones, that's a Z. Uh, wizard always zipping zebras up. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> because, up. No, up. Do, no, she's the zip, the zebras, the stuffed zebras, they have zippers on them. Like it's oh, a zebra yeah. hoodie. It's a zebra onesie, actually. That's what it is. And you zip it up. She zips them up. She likes her okay. onesies. <laughs> Almost as good as the unstoppable type onesie. Uh, but not, not as, as good. Not as quite. Good. Yes. All right, so you've got uh, Lori, Greg, and Rena Harve, uh, and you know what? They're they're Lori. Oh um. no! <laughs> um, you are lovely and uh, unctuously. <laughs> I love it. Unctuously. That's really good. Yeah. Um. Uh. Why can I get you and then not R? Um. Rubbing. Mm. Yep. They rub a lot. Ideas. When you rub your head. You eccentrically rub. with us. Yes. They mm. do rub things. I just very eccentrically all the they time. They actually <laughs> kind of do. That's kind of their thing. That's what they're known for. <laughs> they are. All right, Francis. Well, Tammy Anderson, I'm, uh, you had let us know that you're J-Lo. Uh, you're known for your juicy, luscious orbs. Her eyes, yes, her eyes, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ocular orbs, o yes. o oculi. Your Those juicy, orbs. luscious oculi. Well, Johnny, Daddy Pappas, Running. Johnny Pappas, man, you are such a lark. You are a linguistically amazing reality chef. You know, Ooh. you started this new sh reality show, which is a, you know, cooking shows are big, big, but they also have to speak in different languages on this show and be able to interpret. They all their, their helpers, their chef helpers are, are all from different countries. So they have to know like a million languages. And he does because he's so linguistically adept. All right. So now we have Michael Gilstrap and uh, Lori, I think, yo, he's money. Oh, he's money. He's, um, um marvelous mm -hmm. at organizing notebooks uh, yes mm -hmm. filled with um edgy Yu-Gi-Oh cards oh, oh. Uh, yeah oh my god I love edgy edgy -Oh cards. cards those are so hard to get they're edgy I also like where the F came from Munfi Munfi <laughs> Oh well, well, well I, no, I there's sometimes there's just silent teasing. letters. Oh, yeah, there's yeah, silent gotcha. letters. Just like a yeah. Silent, yeah. Silent, yeah. yeah. Those edgy Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Love it. Uh, all right, you're on Dash V, right? Yes. Uh, you're uh, Dash. Of course, you are. I don't know if you did this one. Robust. Yep. Uh, do we do one yet? I don't robust. think so. No. Okay. Okay. You're robust. You've got a righteously organic behind under such tension did you say organic organic it's a very oh, organic. organic organic it's a very organic behind a really organic oh yeah well, it's really real tension. there's no no plastic surgery there totally no real. no just just three ingredients make up your butt i don't like it well terry field you are okb um you are obviously a koala banker. Um, oh well, yes, yes. Of which means he's he works. He's a banker in Australia. 
That's what he does. He doesn't actually because he's a friend of mine. He doesn't do that at all. But let's, for this segment, I'm going to pretend he is. But thank you, Terry. And last but not least, good old Jalou. And since it's Jalou, we'll give him one of his own. He is an NFG. Just a nice, friendly guy. Yeah, nice, friendly guy. <laughs> there you go. Is that what you were thinking, thinking too? Those were, the words, those were the words that came out of my head. I was like, oh, <laughs> will she say it? Are those the words coming she out did. of your mouth? Uh, yes, that too. Uh, oh, uh, Keiko said rubbing. Yes, rubbing. they're rubbing. They're rubbing Ooh. ideas. That's what they're doing. They, that's what they do. Anyway, Super Geeked Up on Patreon, folks, where you can go or you can do a super chat. Thank you very much. And again, don't forget, if you're new and you haven't before, please hit the subscribe button. And if you're new or a veteran to the show, hit the like. Give a thumbs up. Uh, oh, back to the Trek butt. Scorpio says the best is Troy when she wore her old uniform. Ooh. That's true. You can see her butt mm -hmm. pretty nicely in that. Most she'll people are usually uh, focus on something else, with Troy, but. Oh, yeah. Especially when she wears her 90s. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Yeah. It's like, oh, uh, they don't have bras in, in Star Trek, that do they? All right. Honestly, in the future, I don't think. No. I don't know if there will be bras anymore. Yeah. Put your eyes out All right. <laughs> Let's do our last. I don't know what's going on. Let's do our last game. Francis, what is our last game? Uh, we're going to play a game called Super Camera Freeze, where we're going to have a conversation, a oh, fake conversation, I guess real conversation, over Skype or Zoom or StreamYard. And some kind of future technology. Some some kind of, well we can do now technology doesn't I know but you technology. know sometimes they're set in like Star Trek or Star Wars oh, yeah, or yeah. stuff like that. Well, right? It's just the communication technology that happens to still have problems with buffering and it will have to you know sometimes we'll freeze when we're saying something. Actually, people think we freeze and you're gonna, they're going to say something like what was that again or can you repeat that and we have to come up with this different type of phrase when we're having a conversation. For instance, I go to Jeff and say, "Hey Jeff, what's up with the shang chi t-shirt and he'll say oh i'm so glad you asked shang chi is the is amazing right he's whoa such a great martial oh, sorry artist. you froze there for a second what was that again oh yeah i said shang chi has the tightest ass i've ever seen well more butts yeah see more butts <laughs> see more butts. so, so Lori, that's kind of how it works basically when someone says that you have to come up with a new line of what you just said okay so something like oh what was that or we broke up that kind of deal and you can do it to us too. You can Tammy, you're absolutely right. There were no surfers in George Lucas's uh, space. You're, oh, bra, bra, bra. There's no bras, dude. Yeah. No. They don't talk like this. By the way, I hate to. I hate that. That honestly, I feel like a few couple years ago, ever people were saying maybe they still do. Bra, yo, bra, bra. They still bra. Yeah, I hate it. But now it's more of like um, when somebody does something bad, they'll go, bra. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> ah. um, well, I'm glad there were none of those in Star Wars. Yes, I agree. No. All right. All right. So we need a scene suggestion, folks. Um, give us uh, what do you want? What do you want to ask them? What kind of a uh, scene here, Francis? Do we want? So we are bounty hunters. Oh, and is Cowboy Bebop. Is a no, no, because <laughs> Mark said blame dog the bounty hunter for that one. Oh, for bruh. For bruh. Hey, bruh. By the way, are you are you getting um are you getting a, a note in your ear from the well no uh, my producer's telling me producer, my producer's yeah, telling me producer something right now. He, hold on, he's saying uh, well he's giving me the idea about the you know, to go with the bounty hunter idea. Oh okay, good. Yeah. Thank God we have the producer uh -huh. Uh -huh. on our show. Yeah. All right. Oh so okay, folks, I gotcha. Okay. So uh, give us so you want them to give us like a, a bounty hunting mission idea basically, right? What are we? What are? What, who's our bounty? Who are we after? Right? Godzilla. So Scorpio says Godzilla is stamping down, but the the down or maybe the town. It could be the town, but you are still trying to watch a live stream together. Okay. Okay. So we're trying cool. to hunt down Godzilla, but we didn't realize he's just stomping around, causing all oh, sorts right. of. Oh so, wait. Okay. So we're we're like we're at different locations on our phones communicating with each other through like voice or video, yeah. and we're yeah. trying to hunt down Godzilla. Okay, yes. Got it. Um, thank you, Pierre, also for this one, uh, and uh, we appreciate it. But yeah, let's go with since Scorpio is the first one. All right, super camera freeze. We're trying to get stop Godzilla from stomping the town. <laughs> stomping the town. That's what we like to do. In the yard. All right. Okay. Oh, oh man, 
Francis, Lori, uh, have you have you heard Godzilla stomping around? He's stomping the town. <laughs> Haven't you heard? <laughs> anyway, Francis, have you seen him? I don't. I don't. I have eyes on him. Have you seen Godzilla? <laughs> he's hard. He's hard to. I don't know why he's so hard to find, but I can't find him. Uh, look, all I've been doing is trying to have myself a nice lunch in the teacher's lounge, and you're trying to tell wait, me wait, about wait, Godzilla. Oh my God, I'm getting so much interference. What are you do? having lunch? Where? What? Here I am trying to drink my sausage uh, flavored sparkling water in the lounge of death, and you're telling oh, me I hear about that's Godzilla. Good. <laughs> my God. I can't believe you're bothering me with this. Lori, can you talk some sense into them? I, I, I can't be bothered with any of this nonsense. I mean, can't you can't you locate him by by sound? Do you need to see him? Like, can you hear him? Oh, that's a brilliant idea. I wasn't using my ears. <laughs> <laughs> let me take the let me take the ear uh, like the cotton out of my ears. <laughs> Oh my God! I hear he's so loud. Ah, uh, you're you're breaking well, what, up. Well, where is the noise coming from? And yeah. and and it's it's so loud. You're breaking up. Like, where is it coming from? It's coming from inside the house, <laughs> Lori. It's inside your house. Do you see Godzilla? <laughs> I still don't see him. Is it is does Godzilla have a cloaking device? What is happening? Wait, what? Oh, I'm sorry. I, I, I lost you. Did you say Godzilla have what? Did you say? <laughs> does Godzilla have an invisibility plane? Can you guys help me? <laughs> is he with yes. Wonder Woman? <laughs> That's right, Francis. Have you seen Wonder Woman? No, but that piece of flatland called the plane is un I can't see it anymore. I can't see the planes. It's gone. That was the Francis, invisible plane, get out right? of the damn coffee death shop wherever you are, and maybe that'll oh, help us. Hold on. All right, hold on. All right. All right, all right. <clears throat> so what am I looking for again? You're looking for a huge skyscraper-sized lizard. Ah, jeez. Oh, God, that was that was loud. What, what, say that again. What was that? You're looking for a 20-foot dick. Oh, well, I just have to look down then. All right. Ah, I didn't know it was that right. easy. <laughs> Lori, I can't France get anywhere with Francis. Can you get him on track? I, I, I'm not sure what to report because he's no, nowhere near here, but I still hear the stomping, so I don't think it's his dick. Wait, what is... Oh, you don't think it's his what? No. You don't think it's his what? What was that? I... I, 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 I think I just saw Godzilla run by and crush a building with his dick. Oh my god. It was terrifying. Oh. Please help. <laughs> I, I can't Francis, I cannot I seem to huge, focus. I, we need a huge vagina to handle this. I don't know about that one. <laughs> can can you help us, Francis? Do you have a huge well, vagina? Well, <laughs> Do, we, do you have some kind of, of Final Fantasy, Fantasy summon? <laughs> Please help. Yes, can you summon uh, the ice Shiva? Can you summon Shiva or Eve Balzazar? Eve I will. Whatever the hell their names are. I will summon Mon's vagina. Um, Wait, whose vagina? <laughs> I will summon the uh, the uh, the I it, it, they they call him. Her actually, the tunnel of love. I will summon the tunnel of love. All right, all right, here we go. Um, okay, ready. All right. Uh, hua. <laughs> hua. Hua. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't get any of that. Hua. What was that? Oh, Can it's you repeat a... that? <laughs> gluck, gluck, gluck. <laughs> oh, that's clear. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, my. Ah, oh, there it is in all its glory. Now, what am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> In front of Godzilla's trajectory. I'm Lord, sorry. You, you saw the... Oh, yes. You didn't hear that? I had no idea what you just said. <laughs> Put it in front of the biggest dick you see. <laughs> no, no, not yours. 
Oh, oh right, 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 right. Lori, okay, yes. you're the last one who saw the dick. Which, how, where was it heading? I don't. I I think it headed to the west, but I'm not sure anymore. I I I. Just, it ran off and i saw a giant laser come down from the sky and now oh, wait, i don't know what, what what came down from the sky i i i think i saw the loch ness monster fly across the horizon and like oh my god i don't i don't wait, know what's happening maybe anymore. maybe the loch ness monster can help us all right. I hope so. Have fun. I'm feeling pretty helpless at this point. Where is this vagina that was supposed to see you? Yes, Francis. Have you, let's, oh, the Loch Ness monster. I see it grabbed. I can see it. It grabbed the tunnel of love and it's yes. flying it towards Godzilla. All right. Now, with, the, the, with our powers combined, we can stop this monster. Great. So, what powers do we have? All right. Well, uh, <laughs> Um. I, well, there was a chant. There was an incantation you were telling me about there, Jeff. What was the incantation? Yes. Boogie oogie oogie. <laughs> rah, rah, rah. I'm, I'm pretty. <laughs> I'm that pretty sure the everyone... incantation had something to do with acronyms. No, that, right. Oh my goodness, you're right. If actually, I remember. I remember the acronym now. It, it, it's it's coming to me. Yes. It was okay. Think about it. Bora serve. Are you doing that or am I doing that? Uh, you are, I guess. <laughs> I don't even know where it is. Where Spell is it? it? Bora serve. Why? Why? Uh, my Either. psychic, my psychic Matt was telling me about it. It was bring, bring or ovaries, ovaries. Bring order. Oh, okay, ovaries. Oh, bring or bring order to the ovaries really anal stuff everyone <laughs> remembers vagina <laughs> oh my god somehow that very convoluted acronym saying made godzilla go into the tunnel of love uh the tunnel of love shall we have saved it, Did it work? yes oh he's so happy now and now he's wading off into the ocean so we're saved good job it's all, it's all that it's it's Lori's quick thinking that helped us get to this <laughs> this this place we are today. Uh, yes. What do you what do you have to say Probably to the me. to the people you've just saved there, Lori? What do you what do you want what do you want to say to the to the people you've just whose lives? Yeah, they're just, all outside your house cheering. They're all cheering. Yeah, um, we didn't hire extras; they were just there. I just rewatched Moana last night, so you're welcome. Oh, they're look, look, oh, their arms are in the air; they're loving it. Oh man. <laughs> Yes, they're at, they have McDonald's. You're right. So, <laughs> you said I'm love. They're loving it. No, yes. <laughs> All right, end scene. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. What did I just walk into? Greg said, <laughs> he just came in the middle of that. Nobody scene. knows. Good Nobody guy, knows. Godzilla. A pretty funny segment. I okay. Pretty funny. Thank you, Scorpio. Um, and crypto cryptozoology again. We have come full circle. Oh, that's right, because we were talking about Godzilla at the beginning of the show. We did. Look at look at how we plan and, everything out. <laughs> and Bitcoin. What? The crypto. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> you had to ruin it with the fucking Bitcoin. <laughs> All right, folks. Um, that's going to pretty much do it for our show. I'll give you like maybe one more minute. But guess what, Lori? Right now, Psylocke is in the lead, 36 to 32 percent. No, she might take go. it unless something happens. In the last no, minute. no, no, you have to close it out now. Close as we, it out as we leave. Yeah. All right, leave I'll it. close it out right now. They had their chance. They had their chance. So, but Rogue they was a, a very whole, close a second. Thirty-two percent. It was a big battle between Rogue and Psylocke, which I'm happy about because I would. I'm very happy with both those butts. There you go. There you go. I just ended the poll. Who? Oh, there it pops up. There we go. Oh, that's fun. Oh, there you go. That is nice. Yeah. Great. Thanks everybody for voting. I'm glad that Thank actually you. was. Uh, well, I will keep doing polls then. People, people like them. You have to think of something weird every time. Yeah, yeah now, not, right. Now you have to think yeah. of something every That's time. All right. mm -hmm. That's right. That's I'm used to doing that. So, like, wins. She's ready to be here. All right. Let's uh, share Lori's cool links again. So, first one is here. And yes, again, tell them, uh, Lori. I put it back on the screen. But what can they get? That link. 
so that's the X series attire and pins. You can get hoodies inspired by all of your favorite superhero characters from that show that just came out from 97 <laughs> and pins that feature all of their butts, Indeed. male butts, female butts, or equal opportunity butts here. Um, That's good. And they're heart shaped and they're awesome. They're going to be a uh, two inch. Um, oh my God. What's it called? Soft enamel pins. They're beautiful. Alchemy merch is actually producing them for us and they look amazing. And of course the hoodies, um we've as you saw in the pictures we printed prototypes they feel good they're comfortable the colors are super bright you just have to follow the washing instructions and they'll last forever and you can have closet cosplay or you can just look like a badass all the time oh i like looking like a badass all the time nice all right and then over here at go.lagunastudios.net the comic is what that's that's kiss um yeah you're looking for oh my god oh, and it went up again, again. every Thank time you. i go over here it goes up <laughs> so love story sex supernatural elements um sexy covers why are you laughing what's what greg i just greg knows i just look greg is so funny he knows yeah so the oh, the pins oh, right the pins to them reduce your rogues butt Right. So, I mean, it's it's kind of both. It's in response to that, but it's also in response to how angry people are because it's ridiculous that they're this upset about it. It's just a but. Like, I understand being upset about it because she was ridiculously stacked before, but it's also just a but. So it's kind of just poking fun at those people. And it's just a but. It's, it's, it, we, we're having fun with it. They're hard shapes, they're butts. Um, we've had an absolutely incredible response on our ads because we're running an ad campaign. And like some people are so mad about the butts. Some people love the butts. Some people are arguing back and forth about whether they're anatomically realistic, uh, whatever. Go comment on the ads because they just make me more money. So <laughs> they're, they're butts and they're awesome. Wait, they're talking. <laughs> if if your pins are anatomically correct, yeah, we've had a few. We've had some complaints. They're, just, they're pins. They're butt pins. What the? <laughs> they're like no one has butts that are perfectly round with a thigh gap. Yeah, no kidding. It's a heart shape. Like it's just. It's not supposed. Yeah. All right. But that's Mark's, fine. Go Mark ahead. says this will be OG rogue butt. There you go. Yes. Yes. I don't think no, it's, it's definitely show, not. Uh, Greg says no. No, the show's, the show's, the show's awesome. Great. Yes. We don't the really care about her, but... are much more important. Yeah. No exactly. one looks like He-Man either, so what? Yeah, there you go. Except Francis. He's, he's a He-Man. <laughs> All right, folks. There you go. Go to lagunastudios.net uh, and back it dot lagunastudios.net uh, is where you can find those two awesome projects. Again, both of them are already back, so you're definitely... It's all good to go. Um, and uh, you can get some cool stuff. Awesome. Yeah, um, thank you guys. Of course. And let's see, Francis, where can they catch you when you're not here making puns? Uh, yeah, I'm on a show on Tuesdays that are, that's live from 7.30-ish uh, uh, Mountain, six thirty. no, uh, Pacific. Uh, what is it? Points of interest. <laughs> six thirty so Pacific. Check. Right. It, yeah, seven thirty Pacific, and then Mountain. It's at eight thirty. Uh, so okay. go check it out. Uh, we talk about the most generic stuff on the internet. Uh, yesterday we talked about kind of. You can guess what we're talking about. My, I have a fear of, of of bridges over water, and now oh, no. I'm more afraid. Okay, let's not talk yeah. about that. Yeah. Well, that's depressing. Um, but I've mostly talked about my own personal fear. We didn't talk about this uh, what happened, but okay, like okay. my fear of that that kind of thing. So yeah, I I, I don't like that. But we talk about that and the, much more. And yeah, I go to that. Oh, and then you can go ahead and get some books. Third one on the oh, way. Yes. Oh, there you go. Oh, look. These are the anthologies. We're part of Mark's piles in the chat. He's the mastermind behind these. Dragons of a Different Tale. Tales of Monstrosity. Cabacrossing.com. You can go. That's uh, a publisher. Uh, or you can go to Francis' site. Sarcasm.net. Or supergeekedup.com. All right. Cool. Again, please hit that like button, subscribe, hit the bell, do all the stuff before you leave. We appreciate it. Uh, big thanks to Lori for coming on. Always a great time. Uh, Thank you guys. Yes. Uh, you are seriously, you are like the freaking crowdfunding queen, man. Like everything you touch <laughs> turns to gold. 
Um, no, I'm, sure, I'm super impressed whenever I see this stuff. <laughs> you always email me back and you're like, oh, what the hell? It's funded already. Congrats. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, I know. <laughs> yeah, because I'm impressed by how quickly you always do it. Thank you. <laughs> um, Woohoo, these books are great. And I hear there are dragon butts. Oh, oh. So Mark, you should have told us we could have been about dragon butts. Man. Um, Mark, oh, be careful. Remember the first draft of our new ones due this week. You're, you're going to get some butts from me if you don't care what you say. Um, actually, you're going to get something else from me. I already wrote it. But anyway, happy Easter, everyone. Uh, thank you, Perry. If you celebrate Easter, have a good one this Sunday. Uh, if you don't, just have a good Sunday. Um, all right. Uh, we'll be back next week. Uh, we're always, we do weekly Wednesday nights, 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 Pacific. Uh, we appreciate you if everybody watched it live. And uh, if you're watching posts, thank you just as much. Again, you get links in the descriptions if you're watching later to uh, all Lori's stuff and our stuff as well. Um, until next week, stay geeky, everybody. Bye.